Hey everybody! Zoe and Bree here. Andrew and I just realized that we hadn't actually given you an update on our finished chicken coop. So that's what we're going to do today. It is currently 500% humidity in Texas. Um, And I'm going to show you our chicken coop. So for now, we, well not for now, we are going to keep the chicken coop on our back patio. Our patio extends the entire length of our home. So we're going to end up putting in some sort of um, wood feature wall type thing in here to help keep them from going over here and then as well screening off our front porch. So right now we are battling the chicken coop game from our patio. But it's really not that bad because we started a compost pile um, and we're just letting it go into our yard in Texas we have clay soil so it's not um, the best situation for growing delicious green grass. So let me take you to our coop. So this is our humble chicken coop. We started with some old bed spots that we had from um, a few IKEA beds between the kids and then myself and Andrew. This section out here is their run and it's just, we only have four chickens so we made sure that it was big enough just for them. And so this is their run, pretty simple. Right now we still have the um, pine shavings in here that we got from this store a while back when we first got the those chickens. And we keep their water bowl out here um, so that way humidity doesn't build up inside the coop itself. Andrew put a latch on here so that way this piece actually closes down and then they cannot escape at all during the day. In the mornings at around, I'd say six o'clock in the morning, um, I come out here and we open up the latch and they all jump right out and if you look behind you, you can see that we're in the yard. We have been super successful and they go back into their coop around uh, sundown on their own so we haven't had any issues with trying to train them to do that. And so yeah, this is the, the top for the run we have poultry wire around the bottom. As you can see, and you've probably noticed we've used the zip ties because why not? Uh, we do not own a nail gun. We do not own a staple gun. So we did what we could. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> so if you come around to the back here, I'm going to kind of show you. Oh. There is a door that we have that we will install when it gets cold, but right now this just helps with added ventilation. Oh, she's got one. Alexis they don't have kittens. They do not peck at us. They are, again, Buff Orpingtons. They are so sweet. Their combs are starting to come in. I think they're about 11 weeks old. Very, very sweet girls. Um, up here at the top, we made sure that there was extra ventilation. Why is one of their helmet feathers coming off? You're fine. So there's extra ventilation added in here so that way hot air, as it rises, it can come out the top. And then in the back is. Do you want to take my chick? Yeah. So we wanted to make sure that we were using things that we had around the house. So starting with that, I used an old doorknob on one of the cabinets. Um, this was just in here when we first bought our house. So I used an old doorknob and I attached it to the roof right here. This is set on some hinges so you can open it up. And I used their original chick feeder that we purchased and I drilled a hole through the top with a drill bit. Um, I tied it to some something that was thick and metal. And so that way the string wouldn't fall out. If you look inside here, I got it, you can let go. If you look inside here, Andrew built a perch. Upon 
looking through a lot of YouTube tutorials, um, I noticed that a lot of people said that their chickens, I'm gonna get this wrong, but their knees or something doesn't um, bend the same way as how a, a bird, or their birds perch, and that they do prefer to be on a wider set perch. So they said that. Those two spots over in the corners are going to be their nesting boxes. But since they're not old enough yet to have nesting boxes, we didn't want to put anything in there at this time because they would just end up pooping in it. So we will end up putting some boxes in there so that way they do have a spot to nest. But as you can see, it is extremely simple. Um, it's very easy to maintain, the fact that you can just kind of open the back up here and I can feed them, check their food, whatever, and they seem to love it. So, pretty simple. I don't know, we're pretty proud of it. We just used a bunch of plywood and our little bed slots. So some of the things that I did not include in the video was that we do add diatomaceous earth to the inside of their chicken coop, um, to their pine bedding. And the reason why it is garden safe, um, the reason why is because it helps keep any type of fleas or mites um, out of their coop so that when, when they are in there and going through the um, practicing of a dust bath, inside their coop they are getting clean on the inside so it is very clean in there and once we do clean it out um, I've decided to switch over to a smaller pine shaving bedding mixed with some peat moss and the reason why is because we are going to be using that bedding once we clean it out um, inside of our compost and peat moss is just um, easier it's a easier component when it comes to composting thank you so much for bearing with the loud noises recording videos with kids is always a little bit difficult but they're excited to have the chicken coop even right now i have my little one in the background letting me know that she is done playing on her play mat i hope everyone enjoyed the video um if you have any questions feel free to ask I've done a lot of research on Buff Orpingtons, although I am no expert. We do really enjoy having them. They are very sweet, very docile birds. They do not make a lot of noise. And some parts in the video is kind of hard to catch what I was saying. Um, and one of the things that I said was is at nighttime, as the sun's going down, they do put themselves back in the coop. So they just jump right up in there and they go in there and I don't really have to um, herd them. <laughs> from one end of the yard to the next. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye.